Today I'm gonna to be talking about paintbrushes and specifically a paintbrush, the Brooklyn from Premier because there are a lot of painters out there that just really don't like cleaning their brushes anymore. There are paints with technologies now that just ruin paintbrushes really fast. And we all got those employees that ruin a paintbrush pretty regularly, sometimes in one day. Premier makes a brush, the Brooklyn, that is an affordable brush that is gonna help resolve those three problems. So if you wanna know what the Brooklyn is, what it's all about, how much it costs, stay tuned for this video. So let's talk about the company Premier and they do make an, an absolutely amazing paintbrush and that's why I use their paintbrushes now. I think they're one of the best three paintbrushes manufactured out there. These are handcrafted in the USA, made in the USA paintbrushes and I wouldn't use them if they weren't absolutely amazing paintbrushes but I also wouldn't use them if the company wasn't absolutely amazing also. And how do I know that? Well, I got to actually travel back to New York I actually went to Premier, got a tour of the factory by the owner of the company himself, Kevin. And Kevin, they've, they've owned this company for over 50 years. So they've been in the brush and roller company for 50 years now, you know, manufacturing products for us painters. And so I got to meet Kevin. I got to walk back and actually see these paintbrushes being made. And yes, they are handmade by the employees right there at Premier Brush and Roller. And Kevin is an absolutely amazing guy. Their customer service is absolutely amazing. I actually have to deal with their customer service and deal with the company because we do sell their brushes now at Paint Life Supply Co. That's our retail store and our online store because I believe in them so much and I actually use them. So it's a great company. It is an absolute amazing paintbrush. Um, and I'm going to show you the, the two that I use, the Montauk and um, the Riverdale now. And I'll talk a little bit why I like those brushes and they are expensive brushes but this is an affordable option and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the difference and what makes this so affordable compared to other brushes. So I'm going to talk about two brushes that I use right now from Premier that are actually a couple of my favorite paint brushes and I use the Montauk for all my interior painting and I use the Riverdale for all my exterior painting. I'll just briefly go over why. And these are two pretty expensive brushes and one of the reasons why is they use DuPont filaments. The Riverdale uses 100% Chinex filaments. The Montauk uses Tynex Oreo blend of DuPont filaments. And this Montauk brush is an absolutely amazing brush for all your interior painting. It's just the right stiffness for doing cut-ins that I like for all the different paints that I use. And this is the Montauk right here. So the Montauk is a DuPont filament blend, Tynex Oreo. It's handmade in the USA by Premier and it's an amazing interior brush if you want to give that brush a try. The Riverdale is a 100% Chinex filament brush and this is what I use on the outside. And the reason why I like Chinex filaments nowadays, the paints have a tendency on the exterior of houses, have a tendency to dry extremely fast, have a tendency to ruin brushes extremely fast. And the brushes are really hard to clean and typically employees or even um, just some painters that own their own companies and brushes, don't clean the brushes every hour or every two hours and they get filled with paint, dry paint. A 100% Chinex filament brush cleans extremely fast, extremely easy when it comes to uh, those, when it comes to situations where brushes aren't cleaned on a regular basis. So a Chinex filament brush is awesome for exterior painting. It's a little bit too stiff for interior painting. It doesn't hold as much paint because the filaments are just a different type of filament. And I got a video about all about filaments that'll discuss what Chinex is, um, how it functions, how it's different than Tynex and Oreo. So you have to go check that video out to get a little more, more information on those brushes. But I'll talk a little bit about the cost of these brushes versus the Brooklyn and then what the benefit of the Brooklyn is and the low cost of it and what the benefit of that is and some of the drawbacks to that also. So the Riverdale right here, all 100% Tynex um, or 100% Chinex filaments and this one is a blended brush right here and this one is excellent once again for interior painting and um, doing cut-ins. These DuPont filaments clean a lot easier, a lot faster and more efficiently than um, other filaments do. So if you want a great handmade brush 
in the USA and an excellent brush. These two brushes are great brushes. So how does this differ than the Brooklyn brush? So we're gonna talk about the differences with the Brooklyn brush compared to these brushes that I use on a daily basis and give you a little bit of insight on that. All right, let's talk about the Brooklyn brush now. The Brooklyn brush, why is it significantly cheaper than the Riverdale or um, the uh, Montauk? And why would painters even use this brush? So the Brooklyn brush, this is, once again, it's 100% handcrafted in the USA, right there in Premier's factory. It's, um, it's an amazing brush. It has all the same great qualities that a Riverdale and um, Montauk have except a few differences. So one is it's a CT poly brush. CT is chemically tipped polyester and it's not DuPont filaments. DuPont filaments are one of the things that make those other two brushes significantly more expensive. This is only polyester and it's chemically chemically tipped. The wood on the handle on the um, Brooklyn is a little bit different than the wood on the other two brushes and that does cut the cost back also. The brush itself, when you pull it out and look at it, it looks amazingly just like the other two brushes. It looks like it's uh, well, well made. It does have the same ferrule. It's stainless steel. It's not gonna rust and corrode. Same with the nails on it. It looks awesome. The filaments being a uh, polyester and not blended like a DuPont blend, the Tynex and Oreo, it is a little bit softer. And I'll talk about a little bit, um, some of the disadvantages of that. But here you go. This is a handcrafted brush for only $9. It gives you that option of, you know, if you're really concerned about having to, you know, clean your brushes and stuff, you can save $10 by using this brush versus the other two brushes. And I've actually used this brush in multiple different cases. I've used it um, for water-based coatings. I have used it for oil-based coatings and it performs really, really well. But not being a DuPont filament, it does um, absorb water out of the paint a little bit faster. So it does lose its stiffness, you know, significantly quicker than the other two brushes. The Brooklyn brush is a brush for all paints and stains. If you're gonna to try to use a brush like this on X for exteriors, it is a little bit soft for exteriors, but if you like soft filament brushes, this might be the brush for you. If you're doing interior cut-ins and you like, uh, or you're using thin paints and you like soft filament brushes, this is gonna be the brush for you. Once again, it doesn't clean up as easily and it doesn't clean up as fast as the br other brushes that are made of DuPont filaments. But once again, this is a $9 brush. This might be just the answer to uh, you for you know, those situations where you don't have the ability to clean your brush due to environmental regulations or it's, it ends up costing you too much money to do that because I know there's a lot of environmental regulations that make paint hazardous waste now, even though they're water-based paints and cleaning your paints, you can't clean it in a customer's sink, you can't clean it in the grass, and so guys are getting accustomed to just throwing them away. We do have employees ruining brushes on a regular basis, and if they're ruining them on a daily basis, this might be the answer for you. Or even your exterior paints now that dry extremely fast, products like Resilience that dry fast, ruin brushes extremely fast, this could be the brush for you. It is the uh, Brooklyn from Premier. Once again, it is a handcrafted in, in the USA made brush, 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 right there in New York by the amazing Premier company. You gotta check it out, the Brooklyn. Now the Brooklyn brush, this brush costs approximately $9. There is gonna be some variation depending on where you purchase it, but approximately on average about $9. If you purchase it from Paint Life Supply Co, it's $8.90. Now compared to the Montauk, the Montauk, that brush costs $19 and then the Riverdale costs $21.50. So this brush compared to a Montauk, if you're using it for interior painting, it's gonna cost you $10 cheaper, and that's a significant difference. So there you have it. It is the Brooklyn. It is fairly new brush. I don't know if you've, if any of you out there have used it. If you have, let us know what you think. Um, also, let us know, do you clean your brushes on a daily basis? You know, I'm, it's where I'm kind of weird. 
I'll take a dollar chip brush and clean a dollar chip brush. I'm kind of a penny pincher. I, I clean my brushes daily. I try to make these things last as long as they um, can. I've even used the Brooklyn um, multiple times on multiple occasions using um, different products and I've cleaned it each time, except when I used, I used it for um, some oil-based um, Rust-Oleum when I was restoring my trailer and I just tossed it $9. It's just going right to trash. I'm not going to try to clean it with uh, paint thinner, but if you've used it, let us know what you think about it. Once again, let us know if you clean your brushes. What are the environmental reg regulations where you're at? I mean, can you clean your brushes? Is it too expensive to clean them? Do your, do your uh, employees take care of your brushes? And who's got a brush and that they've used the longest? I mean, I'd be curious to know down in the comments section below, do you got a brush that you've had for five years, 10 years? It'd be uh, interesting to know who's got the brush uh, the longest that they've had or who had, who's got who's got a brush the, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I come out with a new video. And like we always say, we'll see you on our next video. Out.